Hi everyone, it's me, Billy Vids, back again for another video, and today uh, I'm bringing you back with a, another Mario Kart Wii tutorial, this time on how to uh, make custom music for every track in Mario Kart Wii. Now, before we get into this, there are a couple of things that you will need uh, for this to work. You will first need um, a Windows-based computer or a machine that can run a Windows OS, a browser like Chrome, Firefox, um, Edge, anything like that. Uh, you'll also need a tool called Brawlbox, um, an app called Audacity, a GUI patch um, builder, uh, and also CCGP with Mario Kart Wii and everything else. I have a link uh, up to one of these sites, I keep forgetting what it is, on how to install CCGP. It's my most popular video, you should definitely go check that out. It's a very good tutorial as well. So, uh, first off, what you, want, what you want to do is first off open up a web browser. Uh, we've got one right over here. Uh, and you'll want to head over to YouTube first off and think about what song you would want what, what, what song would you want to have a um, To be part of your custom music. Okay, so for example, I have this one here uh, from sonic.exe um, Solus a fan made version which I actually think is really really good so take that URL and if it has the um, characters and T equals uh, however many seconds um, take that out and then just paste um, the link itself to not confuse the thing. So, and then what you want to do is just type in uh, YouTube to MP3 and then use one of the um, MP3 conversions that looks safe. I would also recommend uh, using an ad blocker um, in case of anything that could happen uh, to, your, to your computer if some of these sites are sketchy, like I have an ad blocker. It works very well. Uh, so paste the link into the converter. Uh, I would recommend going for the highest um, amount of uh, kilobytes per second just to get a better quality for the song. Download uh, mp3 audio file. Make sure it's an mp3 going into your downloads folder. And next up you would want to uh, open up going into just type in audacity uh, and then hit download over here. Uh, make sure that you're going download for Windows uh, it'll it'll come up with one of these things click on it uh, I, I've already done this so I don't have to do it but hit save and then run it through your install uh, process and then you'll have it open uh, so I might as well do the audacity thing now so open it up first off so here is your audacity program uh, this is your audio editor basically uh, so a couple things to keep in mind when you're doing this um, the song is obviously gonna have to be loud uh, to overrun and override all of the um, all of the sound effects that Mario Kart Wii already has going on, like the engine sounds, the like, some of the crowd tracks and that. Uh, so go ahead and uh, drag your audio file into uh, into into Audacity because you would because how it works in Mario Kart Wii, you would want the songs to repeat, and what and a good way to. Um, to make sure it does that is zoom in a lot and try and find where some of the wavy lines here start and go from there backwards to try and erase as much uh, silence as possible so when you just hit if you just hit press it then it should be good uh, so yeah just keep going uh, through the song uh, blah 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 and also, um, make sure if you're ending that you're, you're gonna have to have a good understanding of how music works uh, within this. So let's say if you want um, the song to end at a certain time and repeat it backwards, you have to get it precise. You have to get it really precise on this bit. So right there, what I've done is, um, so, it's, so for reference, the song starts like this. Like a very sinister piano. I'll probably override this as like N64 Bowser's Castle or something. Uh, and then at the end here. So if I were to repeat that, like loop it almost. So if it goes from like, beginning. 
so like you'll be able to see that so that's the rough draft of the song done now is mod now next up is modifying it uh so what you want to do is hit control a um how do you select it again <laughs> um yeah control a and then what you want to do is then head over to effects and then amplify um, if the song is already quite quiet, you're gonna want to do it by a lot. Just keep testing this until it sounds like it'll work well. So, for example, I'm just gonna go, like, um, 5.6. Make sure allow clipping is ticked. Then it should be very, very loud. That sounds a bit too quiet for it. I know you're, you're gonna have to judge this a lot when you're doing it, so... Just keep that in mind. Also, if you if the, if there's like any bass boosting happening, uh, then that's easy to fix. Just go over to effects again, and then hit bass and treble, and then just simply just turn down the bass of it. So I'll turn it down by like nine, I think. It'll keep the volume, but it'll also make it less bass boosted. Like, you can still hear, like, the bass pedals and the bass of the instrument, but it'll still come out as intended. Uh, and now, what you want to do, because as soon as you as soon as you finish your bit, uh, go ahead and export. Export as WAV, that's important. And, um, what I would just do, I'm just going to save this to my desktop, and I'm just going to call it, uh, N64 Bowser's Castle. Just going to call it for that as, like, a placeholder name. That's all. And then once uh, once this comes up, then just press OK. Uh, now what you're going to want to do is, now that you have that done, uh, head over to your browser again and then type in Brawlbox. This no, this tool will help tremendously. <laughs> Turns out uh, a package just came to my uh, door. Let's see what this is. Uh, if it is what I think it is, then you'll probably... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, It's not what I thought it was. That's an L. <laughs> well... That's an L. <laughs> Cut that out. Another false alarm, actually, because it is the uh, it is the bread boys thing that I um, ordered correctly. So I'll just put that there for now. And that bag uh, haunted me because I thought it wasn't that. Anyway, back to uh, custom music for Mario Kart Wii. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, in your browser, head over to this application called Brawlbox. Um, I would say go over to the custom Mario Kart wiki and then you'll get a good explanation on what it is if you want to read more into that. Head over to the downloads at the right side, it'll take you to a github link. And uh, on the first thing, Brawlbox hotfix.exe. Uh, save, I mean I've already done it, uh, so open that and it'll go through the install process and then you want to open it up uh, and then it should look something like this. So what you want to do first for Brawlbox is file new audio brstm audio stream because um what um what the uh what the mario kart we uh soundtrack file names are they are dot brstms so it's harder to uh, harder to find out what it is so go ahead and find your um your thing so here um you have a little time thing and like a player so if you want to play it Make sure to hit loop, so at the end you'll be able to see if it loops well. This is what I was on about earlier. Like that works pretty well. That works pretty good actually. Uh, so you loop it, and it's like that was a bad example. Back because you wouldn't want any silence uh, as the race is going on. So hit OK. It'll it'll encode, and also. Um, after this is encoded, uh, make sure to hit loop again over here if you want to test it again then go ahead That works pretty well, that works pretty well. Then want to hit file save as uh, BRSTM and now what you want to do is uh, head over to Google again just type in Mario Kart Wii file names on the first link that comes up. I use this a lot when modifying stuff. Uh, scroll all the way down until you see music. Go to your um, go to the track you want, 
Uh, for me, it's Lightning Cup N64 Bowser's Castle. Uh, this right here highlighted, you'd want to copy that. Uh, go back into Brawl Box and then have the file name as that. So it will be r underscore 64 uh, underscore Cooper 32 underscore n dot brstm. That was all. That was a lot. Uh, but then save that. And now you have a audio file. Um, let me just show you uh, what to do afterwards. So I'm going to insert my WSD over here. Uh, that just popped in. Um, so here's the SD card, right? Uh, where is it? My desktop, I think. So here on the desktop, um, we have the uh, we have the file over here. Now what I'm going to want to do is show you where it goes. So in your SD card, in the CCGPR folder, you should have something called My Stuff. Uh, this basically houses all of your mods for everything. So it can be custom textures and custom music and uh, all that. So what you want to do there is kind of straightforward. Just take your file, uh, drag it into CGGPR first off. Uh, then uh, just drag it into my stuff. I already have one, so I'm just gonna um, replace it for this occasion. And there it goes. So that's one done, but now you're thinking, wait, Billy, what if you want something for the final lap? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, you want to go back to Audacity, uh, and let's say I wanted uh, to start it a little bit differently. Instead of the piano section, I want to start it right at that crash symbol. So, um, so I want to start it right when it starts. So there is a... So just blur out and erase all of the bits before it, or if you want that, if you want it to be the same, then that's completely fine, it's your preference, but yeah. Uh, so it's already like amplified and the sound is all correct, but now what we want to do is speed it up or pitch it up. Uh, so for me, I'm just going to speed it up. Uh, I'm going to go to effect, change speed, I'm going to change it by this amount actually, because this speeds it up by a reasonable amount, so hit, hit, click OK. Now it sounds, it sounds, it sounds fine. What I'm gonna want to do there is basically do the same uh, export as WAV. I'm just gonna call it N64 Bowser's Castle 2. Uh, hit OK on that. And then go back into Brawlbox, File, New, Audio, BRSTM Audio Stream. Uh, hit that thing there. Uh, loop it, see if it works. Yep, you're all good. Hit OK. Uh, if it'll hit OK. Let that encode again. Uh, hit loop there. And then file, save as. Now the only thing you want to change about this is probably uh, just paste that and then you should probably have the uh, the um, the file name already on your clipboard. But instead of the N, which um, makes sure that it is the um, the first two laps, you want to change that to F final and then select it as brstm uh, save it to wherever you want and then um yeah and then just do the same again uh, get it get to it and then go into the cgpr uh, and then my stuff uh replace the file in this destination and yeah that's that done uh, so now i'm going to take you to the wii and show you uh, the specifications needed to play your custom music Okay, so already you should have a CCGP installed, so go ahead and open up your CCGP Revolution channel. And all that. Wait for that to load. Yep, here it is. This is CCGP Revolution channel. Head over to your settings. Uh, uh, now on the third option, my stuff folder, you would either want it on, no replace tracks, or BRSTM only. Uh, so I'm just going to set it to BRSTMs only so we know what we're working with here. Uh, launch your game. So right now I'm just going to head into a time trial uh, and just show you how this will work. So I'm just going to show you uh, everything. Uh, so we had it in N64 Bowser's Castle. If you want to uh, go into the um, go into the actual thing or go into a custom track where you know the um, the thing has um, N64 Bowser's Castle music in it. So I'm just going to test it on the regular track. It'll say, please disable my stuff in Nintendo Ghost. That's only if you want to work properly. Now you'll hear the pianos coming in, like we said earlier. If you want to modify it, then go ahead. This isn't perfect by any means. If you wanted to up the pianos on this 
Sung, for example, and you can go ahead and do that. I just L. Yeah, you'll definitely want to make the volume a bit louder. This isn't perfect. I've done this many times before, and it's never been perfect, I don't think. Again, this is just your preference in general. So now what you'll be interested in knowing is that the final lap is coming up, which is where a second, the second version will come in. Now, now you'll notice that it sounds a bit different. And that's fine. That's how it should be. Of course you can pitch it and change the speed to whatever you would want and that's fine for you and that's that done but there is a second type of BRS gem that we need to go over and those are for tracks that change music within them so let's get into that and that will be it for today's video guys um I'm pretty sure that um the part two to this which will be the multi-channel BRS gem stuff uh will be coming out in the next video so uh stay tuned for that uh, so thank you guys for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Yeah.